My dad's name is Duncan. His name is Mark. He's 42. My dad's older than my mum. He's 45. I think he's really very old. Uh, medium, middle. My dad's name is Brian and my name is Brian too. And that is so funny. Um, he's a project manager. Do you know what that means? No. What, what do you think he does when he goes to work all day? Uh, I don't know. I think he does... He doesn't do anything. He does a lot of typing on the computer and he just sits around all day. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Kids, Kids Church. Church. I'm Tish. And I'm Mariah. And today we're going to continue talking about Jacob. He was a bit of a trickster. Yeah, but even though, God still changed him into something great. That was when he saw a ladder full of angels. Did you know he was actually the father of Israel? Whoa, that is pretty cool. Well, we've got MC Seymour wrapping things up so we can see the bigger picture. But you better watch your back because Sam has some cool pranks up his sleeve. And Abby and I are going to teach you some cool illusions. And you'll learn that there's a lot in a name. Well, talking of pranks, let's head over to Sam. Hi kids and hi Rasha. I got your challenge and I accept. This morning, what my first prank will be is that I'm going to prank my mum and I know she's going to come fold this washing. <laughs> so I got this snake. This, that's fake, don't worry, Shh, don't tell her though, because she might think it's real. And I'm going to put the snake in the washing, and when she pulls it out, she's going to get a massive fright. Where do you think I should put it, like down low, or like, now I'm going to go in here. Now I know she's going to come fold this washing, because she has nothing else to do. Shh, I hear her coming. Can you just all please clean your rooms? Oh, choice. I'm going to fold the washing. I love a pile of washing to fold. It's just my dream, kids. It's my dream doing the washing. Kept in the loop, all around a bowl of soup. Jacob he tricked Esau on a hunch. Esau came in from the field, hungry, so the soup appealed. He made a promise to his bro, and then he gobbled up. Jacob tricked Esau yet again, takes his blessing with great gain. Esau's mad, he had to run away. Works for what he thinks is fair Rachel with her lovely hair But now the poor old trickster Jacob He's about to be tricked Why do you think we have a Father's Day? Why do you think we have to have a day just for dads? To say to our fathers that we care for them And say we love them Because we can't just have a boring Just have boring days So we have to have some days with Father's Day It's a day that you give back to your dad To give them Food, heaps of food, and heaps and heaps of shirts and that. Abby, Abby, come! Someone stole my sandwich. Aww. Well, hopefully my trick can cheer you up. Really? So, as you can see, this is just a hollow tube. I see that. But voila! A tissue. How'd you do that? Hopefully I can wipe my tears off now. Oh, there you go. Do you need another one? Yes, please. <gasps> another one? Hey. How did you fit that in there? Well, there's a hole on this side, which I hid away from all of you, and you can just fit it in there and pull it out. That is so cool. I can't wait to try it. Bye, kids. Hope you enjoyed our tricks. This is a story about Jacob, who was a trickster. And he worked for Laban, who was even more of a trickety trickster. And what happens was, was that 
Jacob ends up leaving Laban. And when he's on his journey, he finds out that Esau, who Jacob had tricked, is coming after him and wants to meet. And Jacob flips his lid, thinking he's in big trouble. That night, Jacob wrestled with God. And he had his name changed from Jacob, which means trickster, to Israel, which means to wrestle or contend with God. Back in biblical times, they picked names based on their meaning, because words are powerful, and words can speak destiny and purpose over people's lives. So it's pretty awesome that Jacob went from being a trickster to someone who wrestles and contends with God. Now what's awesome is that if we wrestle and contend with God as well, that means that God can lay the big dreams in our heart and show us what our future can bring as well, which is awesome. Now when Jacob had tricked his brother Esau, not once, but two times out of his destiny, he left. That night, he lay his head on a rock because he was sleepy. He needed a dream of angels going up and down a ladder, ascending and descending down the ladder. Imagine that, your head's on a rock, you're having a sleep, and boom, that's revealed to you. That's pretty epic. Just a trickster boy Living in a lonely world Ran away from his bro going anywhere Sleeping on a pillow rock Has a vision and his eyes unlock Heaven's ladders, there it goes on and on and on and on Step up, step down There were angels all around him Angels moving in the night Don't stop believing Hold on to the sea Ladder, oh yeah! Hey, back to work! Well, hello children, it's great to be back here with Bobby Beaker and Mrs. Bunsen Burner. What are we chatting about today, Mrs. Oh, Bunsen Burner? Oh, it's so exciting, children. Today we're talking about I is for invisible. Oh, invisible. You love invisible things, don't you? Yes. You love rocks that you can see, but you love invisible things. Yes, you see, because the visible world is yes. actually made up of the invisible. Invisible things like atoms and matter and, and very small microscopic Absolutely. things. Absolutely. Do you know that the Bible says that God created that which we can see and that which is invisible. In fact, God is the one that's holding it all together. Yes. Just like the atoms. What is it? Protons, neutrons, neutrons and there's some power. Electrons. Oh, that's the one. And the scientists don't know. Why are they staying together? Yes, well, see, there's this little thing that, that we like to call laminin and it's all over our bodies. It's invisible and it glues our cells together. Laminin. Wow. Is that it? Just yes. like the electrons and everything are joined together yes, yes, by yes. God's power. That's we actually right. have this laminin through our bodies. What does it actually look like, Professor? Well, you see, Mrs. Bunsen Burner, that's the most amazing, incredible Tell thing, is that it looks like a cross. No way, that's yes, amazing. I know. Oh, God is actually holding us together, just like the atoms are held together. And that's now right. in our bodies, just, all over us, oh, just my, It's just mind-blowing. Oh, my mind, mind blowing. is blowing over this. Yes. It's incredible. Oh, it's incredible. oh, never forget that God is actually closer to you than you even know. That's exactly Amazing. right, Mrs. Bunch and Benny. He's holding everything together, literally with the cross. Amazing. Amazing. Well, we love you and thank you for joining us. See, see you later. See you, children. Bye. Hey, Tammy, what are you doing? Well, I'm reading. Reading what? I'm reading the Bible. Yes, I can see it's the Bible, but what are you reading about? I'm reading the account of Jacob and the ladder. Jacob and the ladder? What was he building? Well, Julian, well, he wasn't building anything. 
This is a story about how God opened Jacob's eyes and he saw a heavenly ladder. Whoa, a heavenly ladder? Yep, it's pretty wow. He's run away and he's sleeping on a rock and a ladder and angels appear. Angels? Yep, coming to and from heaven. Amazing. Well, Jacob actually then wrestles with God and he changes his name from Jacob, which means that, uh... He wrestles? Like Hulk Hogan? Rawr, give him the chair! Well, not exactly. Did I ever tell you about the time my name was changed from Julian to King Julian? Um, no. Well, you see, it was a cold, dark, and rainy night when I, King Julian, came into the world. A spark, a ray of sunshine, a joy to all who meet me. Would we go that far? Well, my parents, they saw my beautiful and adorable face and called me Julian, which means youthful, shiny, and young at heart. Well, surprisingly, that kind of suits you. Of course it does. It's my name. Okay, so I continue. And then everybody loved me so much that they made me Julian, the king. They made you king immediately? Well... Well, funny and funnily enough, what I was going to say before your story was that Jacob was a bit of a trickster, just like you. He was? Yep, but God loved him, and Jacob loved God too. God adopts us into his family and changes our names. We become his sons and his daughters, part of his family. Uh, like royal, like me, King Julian? Yep. So that means that you are like King Kermit too? Well, I suppose it does. We are brothers, yes. Eh, hey, we sure are. <laughs> my favorite thing about my dad is that he's very talented. He disciplines us. He gives us yummy foods in our lunches. He takes us to the movies and gets us McDonald's. He is a great golf expert. He's also quite, quite good at rugby. No cricket. He's a really good thrower. He has big shots. He, um, he gives me kisses. We have pillow fights on his bed. He tells me to work hard at school and um, to say my prayer and read my Bible every day. He teaches me about like these little LED lights and how to make the circuit. Hi kids, I've just been reading a special baby book that my Nana made me. Well, it's amazing that we've been talking about all the dreams we've had and all the stuff we want to be when we're older. Like when I was younger, I used to do cleverness books because I wanted to be a teacher. And I'm still thinking about it now. Well, we are also talking about Jacob's ladder and how Jacob saw so many angels. Well, I haven't seen an angel. Have you seen an angel? But let me tell you a still cool story about when an angel saved me. Well, one day when I was about four years old, we were going on a tramp in the Abel Tasman. And during our walk, we stopped at a beach to play. And my dad and mum were taking a photo with my gran and pop when the boy said that I was hurt. And they were just a little bit away from the log. They weren't too far away. And so when the boys saw me, I was lying on the ground and I wasn't moving. They said that the large log fell on me and that I was underneath it. So they ran to my mummy and daddy and told them to come. So as soon as they came, they called out to Jesus to help me and to heal me. And my dad carried me up, but my mum was trying to talk to me so I didn't fall asleep. But the sad thing was, is that we couldn't call anyone because there was no reception. We were in the middle of nowhere. So we had to walk for 20 minutes until we got to the hut and so we could ring a boat to ring a helicopter to ring an ambulance. That was quite a journey, wasn't it? Anyway, once we got to the hospital, they said that I was all bitter and they said that I wasn't had at all. And so my mum asked me when I was awake, 
Mariah, who lifted the log off your head? And I said, Danny did, but my dad wasn't there. So my mum said, it must have been an angel. That's so amazing that guardian angels are always protecting us. It says in Psalms 91 verse 11, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. That's so awesome. I hope you're encouraged. Well, that's all from me. See ya. Wow, kids, what an incredible story that was with Jacob and the ladder and all of those angels. Wow, do you know that God wants to speak to you as well? He wants to speak into your heart and show you amazing visions too. We well, you know the first thing to do is to ask Jesus to come into your life. And it's as simple as just talking to Jesus and saying, Dear Jesus, I know that you're real and I want you to come into my life. I love you. Please forgive me of my sins and I want to be your best friend. He is so amazing and He hears our prayer and He comes into our life and changes us like Jacob was radically changed that day. As you walk with God, it's great to pray and just talk to God every day. To read the Bible, there's amazing epic stories like the one we heard about today. And the last thing is to get involved in an awesome church that is going to build your faith and help you be a massive big dreamer, just like Jacob was. Well, we've loved hanging out and we're carrying on this awesome adventure. So let's head over to what's happening next. He gives me too many kisses. It's not very nice because he normally has all this hair around his face. And sometimes when he hugs me when we're going to bed, his, um, he shaved it and then it cut and then it pokes me. Um, when I get to see him at the end of the day, he has this little beard that it's just out of um, his face and it always tickles me on the face. So when it's time for me to go to bed, he would sometimes give me what we call a sausage. He's he rolls us up in a blanket and then he sits on us. Hi kids. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a Jacob's lap. Here's what you are going to need. A glue stick, a pair of scissors, some strips of paper, two different colors, and some paper squares. For my squares, I have this paper from Lookshop. For your ladder, you're going to need to make seven of these squares. So you'll need 14 pieces of paper. So let's get started. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold over your piece of paper in half. And then you're going to open it up and you're going to fold in this side to the um, folded bit. And then you're going to fold it into halfway like this. Then we do the other side into halfway, like this. Okay, then you're going to fold it halfway, like this. Open it up and do the same thing. Fold it in to the halfway line. And the other side. You need to do that with all 14 pieces of your paper. You also need to make sure that you fold it nice and tightly. So now you need to make all your pieces of paper into seven squares like this. Grab two pieces of paper and fold one out like this. Put the other one in to where it, the first folded line is. Then you'll fold these parts in and put this one over. Here's the tricky part. You're going to need to fold this part in like an envelope. What I find helps is if I put it this way and fold it in like this. Then 
you have to just keep pushing it in like this until it comes nice and sketchy. Repeat that until you have seven squares like this. Now you need to grab your strips. You need 14 of one colour and seven of another colour. Your strips also have to be three times as long as one of your squares. Now we need six squares. Say one for later. So now you're going to take one of your strips and glue it right in the middle of one of your squares. Now we have all six squares with yellow strips on. We're going to grab whatever other color you have and place it one here and one here. Make sure it's in the opposite direction of the middle strip. Line the next square up right next to it and then glue your next two orange strips on or whatever colour you have. Repeat that step for the rest of your squares. Make sure that your strips are lined up nice and straight. Now you're going to take one square and fold the strips over nice and straight. Then you're going to take another square and face it straight down and fold the shorter strips over and glue it down. Then you're going to fold the strips over. Make sure to keep it nice and straight. Grab your next square. And glue the shorter strips over. Repeat that step for the rest of the squares. Now what we are going to do is we're going to fold the last one just like usual, fold it over nice and straight. And then we're going to grab our last square and we're going to place it on top. Then just as usual we will glue the last strips on. And now we're done. We can put it up in a, a big letter. Now here's a big story all about how the world got flipped, turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'ma tell you all the story how we ended up here. Yeah, come on kids, get comfortable. It's about to get good. MC more. In a garden called Eden, they were born and raised Just hanging with God for all of the days Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool too Adam and Eve broke the only rule Then a couple of bros ended up in no good Cain killing Abel in the neighborhood They were kicked from the garden and then God said A flood is on the way cause the world's been bad No word 
first Ox saved his family and so man lived on Soon Baba had the tower that was tall and strong They built up and up just as high as they could So God mixed up the words no one understood Abe you'll be a nation that awaits the stars Isaac come and clutch with the ram of the lost We've heard about Jacob, now we're finally here End with Joseph and his moldy color flair Wow, that is what you call a wrap up. I hope you could do some good in your neighborhood too. Well, let's all stand up and have a groove. See you kids, bye. You make a way through it all. Drawing down the name of God. Or have your way in me, Lord. Unashamed, how I pursue to live a life sold out for you. special day and every day except Father's Day it's Kids Day so thank you Dad. Happy Father's Day Dad. I think you're very talented. I think you're handsome. Happy Father's Day Dad. I love you Dad. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day Dad. I love you very much. <laughs> Happy Father's Day Dad. Whatever I said I didn't mean it and I love you. <laughs>